हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ कोमल एंड वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल कॉस्मेटिक लाइन या वेल एज यू नो दैट फ्रॉम लास्ट सम डेज वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कॉस्मेटिक एंड इट्स रियली इंटरेस्टिंग यार कॉज यू नो दैट हाउ स्किन वर्क्स हाउ यूर सेल्स वर्क एंड हाउ इट रिस्पॉन्स टू टॉपिकल अप्लीकेशन देन इट विल बी ग्रेट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट विल सूट्स टू यू सो अगेन we bring with new topic as last time i discuss about the structure of skin which include layer of skin and i last time told you the uppermost layer which is called as epidermis which is very important as a concern of cosmetic so today we are going to discuss epidermis and the keratinizing system of human skin so guys please ready to listen that and understand what is the epidermis which is the uppermost layer of skin which is really important for the topical application so without wasting our time we are start with the session and now i am introducing our topic which is epidermis and the keratinizing system of skin so what is epidermis last time we discuss about that once again we will go through it the epidermis is the topmost layer which consists of a number of layer the first one the innermost basal layer that is stratum basal or stratum germinativum the second one the malpighian or prickle layer that is stratum spinosum the third one the granular layer that is stratum granulosum and the fourth one stratum lucidum which is located in palms of the hand and soles of the feet and the fifth and last layer is the horny layer or stratum corneum so guys this is all about the layers which included in the epidermis the stratification is the result of change in the keratinocyte as they mature and move outward from the basal layer cells are continuously formed by mitosis of self renewing progenitor cells and are shed on the skin surface other than that there are three other cell type are present first one is melanocyte which is the dendritic pigment synthesizing cell second one is langren cells which are colorless and dendritic in form the third one is merkel cells which is concerned with sensation melanocytes and the merkel cells are confined mainly to the basal layer while the langren cell are distributed in the basal spinous and granular layer so so now we see each layer in detail along with keratinization process so firstly we are going to discuss stratum basal the stratum basal or stratum germinativum is a continuous layer that give rise to all keratinocytes it is usually described as one cell thick but it differ in thick normal or in pathological epidermis these are the cells that differentiated and move up through the epidermis eventually to become the component of stratum corneum and later this comet which means dead skin cells which sheds peel or come up in scales the replacement time for the whole epidermis is probably 42 days and for the stratum corneum about 14 days but it differs for psoriasis skin a basal cell in cuboidal shape stem cell that is 
precursor of keratinocytes of epidermis in normal skin the discombination of keratinocyte is in equilibrium with the generation of keratinocyte by mitosis of the proliferating cells maybe here question will be arise what is mitosis so guys mitosis means division of the cells into two daughter cells that are genetically identical to parent cells for example to understand the equilibrium we will take an example above meant of those skin diseases with abnormal keratinization so let's discuss about that skin diseases which particularly include psoriasis and the second one is ichthyosis vulgaris so in first condition that is psoriasis abnormally rapid transformation of basal cell into horny cell of the stratum corneum occurs as you can see in the picture in second condition ichthyosis vulgaris which is also commonly known as fish skin disease which is genetic disorder that result from abnormal retention of keratinocyte as you can see this is also in picture cells of stratum basal have basophilic cytoplasm and dark staining elongated nuclei the basal cell also often contain melanin transfer from adjacent melanocytes if we are studying the structure of stratum basal layer under the electron microscope their cytoplasm reveals many ribosomes mitochondria and sometimes smooth membrane intracellular bridges or desmosomes connect basal cell with one another and with the overlining squamous cell where desmosomes are structure by which two adjacent cell are attached as shown in the pictures second layer of epidermis is stratum spinosum the stratum spinosum or spinous layer or prickle cell layer a layer of the epidermis found between the stratum granulosum and stratum basal it is above the stratum basals prickle cell layer is called because the cells are given a spiny appearance by the numerous desmosomes it is typically 5 to 10 cell layers thick keratinocytes adhere to each other by desmosomes the desmosomes are specialized attachment plates for the cellular pro filaments correlated with the intercellular bridge between keratinocytes the glycocalyx is the intercellular cement between keratinocytes and is composed of glycoproteins in the upper region of stratum spinosum which is laminar granules also known as keratinosomes or odland bodies make their appearance in the stratum granulosum keratinosomes ultimately migrate towards the periphery of the cells and are discharged into intracellular space their appearance their correlated with degradation of keratinocytes their lipid content act to establish a barrier of water loss 
एंड मे पार्टिसिपेट इन स्टैटम कॉर्नियर सेलुलर कोहेजन एज न्यू किरेटिनोसाइट्स आर प्रोड्यूस अ टॉप ऑफ द स्टैटम बेसल द किरेटिनोसाइट्स ऑफ स्टैटम स्पाइनोजम आर पुश इन टू स्टैटम ग्रेनोलोजम सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ इपिडर्मीज नाउ वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द थर्ड लेयर ऑफ द इपिडर्मीज विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्टैटम ग्रेनोलोजम स्टैटम ग्रेनोलोजम द थिकनेस ऑफ ग्रेन्युअल सेल लेयर इज यूजली प्रपोर्शनल टू द थिकनेस ऑफ स्टैटम कॉर्नियम इट मे बी ओनली वन सेल लेयर थिक इन थीन स्किन एंड अप टू टेन लेयर ऑन द पाम एंड सोल्स इट हैज ग्रेनी अपेयरेंस ड्यू टू फर्दर चेंजेस टू द किरेटिनोसाइट एज दे आर पुश फ्रॉम द स्टैटम स्पाइनोजम दिस सेल जनरेट लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन केरेटिन एंड केरेटोहाइलिन a material thought to be responsible for keratin filament aggregation these two proteins keratin and keratohyalin together together make up the bulk of keratinocyte mass in stratum granulosum and this is the reason why the stratum granulosum has grainy appearance the nuclei and other cell organelles disintegrate as the cells die and hence leaves behind the keratin keratohyalin and cell membranes that will form the stratum lucidum the stratum corneum and the accessory structure of hair and nails so guys this is all about stratum granulosum now let's see what is stratum lucidum stratum lucidum is located just above the stratum granulosum and below the stratum corneum it is the smooth seemingly translucent layer of epidermis this thin layer of cell is found only in the thick skin of palm soles and digits the keratinocyte that contains stratum lucidum are dead and flattened elidin which is a clear protein rich in lipids and derived from keratohyalin which gives this cell their transparency also provide a barrier to water this is an shortest description of stratum lucidum now we are talk about stratum corneum which is the last layer and very important one the stratum corneum is the most superficial or outermost layer of epidermis it is the layer which is exposed to the outside environment there are usually 15 to 30 layers of the cell in stratum corneum the structure of stratum corneum has been compared to that of brick wall with the corneocyte as bricks and intracellular lipids as a mortar this dry dead layer helps prevent the penetration of microbes and dehydration of underlying tissues and provide a mechanical protection horny cells in this layer sheds periodically it was then replaced by the cells push up from the stratum granulosum on stratum lucidum in the case of palms and soles of feet in the stratum corneum the keratinocytes have lots their nuclei and virtually all of their cytoplasmic organelle and content 
the entire layer is replaced during a period of about 4 weeks cosmetic procedures such as microdermabrasions chemical peelings help to remove some of the dry upper layer and aim to keep the skin healthy and fresh well this is all about the epidermis and their layer so guys hope so you can understand it and if you have any doubt any question about it just let me know through comments so that i can solve your queries so guys now we are stop with today's session but before that i want to tell you if you are interested to study this subject and the topic deeply then you can refer the books such as Paste and Taylor, The Living Body, Second One, Kimber and Gray, Human Physiology and Anatomy, Third One, Francis, Introduction to Human Body and Physiology, Fourth One, Rose and Wilson's Anatomy and Physiology in Health and Illness. So, you can go through it and you can collect information more because learning is never ending process. Guys, if you have any doubt, then please discuss with us through the comment box. We will try to solve your doubts. And I want to tell you one more thing is that if you want to discuss any another topic related to the field cosmetics, then please write in comment box so that we can discuss that topics in our next session. And don't forget to share, comment and subscribe our YouTube channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching and stay connected with us. We will bring a new interesting video. Till that, bye-bye. Take care and be happy.